Hi, Justin. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. And uh, welcome back to Renaissance for this week's Aberdeen Scottish Open. Can you just give us a sense of how it's feeling up there and how you're feeling heading into this week? Yeah, the course is great. It, it sounds like uh, from, from talking to Paul Savardi that they haven't, uh, haven't had a lot of rain here. I guess the other or before Sunday or Monday hadn't had any since April. So the course is a little bit firmer. I mean, got quite a bit of rain the last two days, but it's beautiful today. Uh, even saw my shadow today, which is something I don't know if I've seen in Scotland before. So that was nice. Um, but it's an enjoyable week. I mean, the European tour always does an unbelievable job of of treating myself and all of us from the PGA tour that come over here, you know, make us feel like rock stars. So it's a, it's a very, very enjoyable week. Great. Thank you. We'll go to uh, John Hopkins, please. Uh, Justin, hi. Uh, I'm guessing that you haven't played St. George's. I have not, no. Okay. So please explain to me why you think playing at the Renaissance, which is, isn't like St. George's, believe me, is a good preparation for the Open. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I my best Open championship finish uh, came the year that I played the Scottish Open before. So I'm strictly going off of that. Uh, I feel like for me, it, it can't hurt. Um, it's not like getting acclimated to Lynx golf, even though it could be a totally different golf course. Uh, just getting used to chipping on these surfaces, putting on these greens. Um, you know, the, basically the stuff that I've been dealing with the last three days to try to get used to these conditions um, is just going to save me then next week, you know, instead of using a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of a major week to try to get accustomed to the conditions and, and the turf and, and the speed of the greens, you know, hopefully I'll be able to do so this week. And then, um, and then once I get there uh, at St. George's next week, I'll be in a little better shape. Can I ask a follow up? What do you think lies in store for you? What have people told you about St. George's? Uh, I'm not sure. I've heard it's uh, it's it's a little different. It's got a it's some some tough fairways to hit, uh, is what I've heard. And I think like a lot of links courses, it really just depends on on how the course is. You know, if it's if it's firm and fast, it's going to play very very difficult, and the bunkers will probably come into play. And and if there's not much wind and it's soft, I'm sure you know we'll shoot some pretty low scores. But I really I I don't know anything about it. I, I can't. I'm sure if I saw some highlights of it, I might remember. Um, remember some holes, but um, you know I'm just worried about this week. And then once I get there next week, we'll uh, we'll take that place, um, you know, into consideration. See what I got to do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, John. Ian Carter, please. Hi, Justin. Um, I just wonder if it feels a bit different in terms of this whole process of acclimatizing yourself to British seaside golf. Uh, because obviously there wasn't an open championship last year. You weren't able to tra travel and the, there has been that sort of two year gap. Is it a more demanding process this time around? Uh, it, well, it's, yeah, it's definitely different than it was two years ago, but it's very, it's not that different than what we have uh, in place in the PGA tour. I mean, it's a little bit different, but you still have to go th through testing and, and um, you know, allowed certain places, not allowed others, whatever it might be. But um yeah, I don't think you can quite compare, you know, what the experience was like two years ago uh, versus now. No, but I, but uh, the the point I was making was in terms of getting used to the style of golf that that you you have to play on these British seaside courses compared with the usual sort of diet in America when you've been playing that pretty much exclusively because you. of COVID. You. That you know, so obviously it's it's been a longer gap in terms of yeah. climatization golf I, Yeah, sorry, I, I uh, misunderstood your question. Um, yeah, I guess a little bit. I think it's not being overly firm. I think made it. Um, probably a little easier to get accustomed to, you know, you don't have to, th there's a lot of greens out here. If you, especially if you get it in the, in the rough or, or even you're just long, far away or, or downwind or something for the most part, you can run it up on the green, but I would say there's a, there's a couple greens here and there that, especially in some of the par fives um, that it's hard to run it up to the green because it's either kind of crowned to where it, if you go one side, it goes one way, you go the other side, it goes the other way, or it's a false front and a, and a big upslope going into the green. So um, you really just kind of have to take, take what the course and where you are gives you. Uh, it's, I think it's not a, that's something I've learned with Lynx golf, at, at least, although I haven't played it particularly well. Um, I try not to get a game plan for the entire golf course. I try to more so take a game plan on each hole and, and, and situationally, I mean, 
you know, there's a whole like f uh, five out here that if there's no wind, I mean, I'm trying to drive it on the front of the green, but if it's raining in off the left blowing 30, I'm trying to make a par. So it's uh, it's little things like that, that um, you're just trying to get used to being over here versus in the States. Thanks, Justin. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Ian. Uh, Susan, please. Susan, you're on mute. Susan, you are on mute. I just asked you to unmute. Sorry, forgot. Hi, Justin. It's not Kapa Lua, as I said, that's for sure. Uh, great to see you over here. Uh, tell me, um, your short game is so good, but as you're talking about it, um, these the, the grain is different, all the rest mm -hmm. of it. Um, how, how do you adjust to this in, in such a short time? You're only here for a couple of weeks. Amazing. What are you doing with Jimmy to, to work on that? I'm just trying to spend a lot of time on the practice train or on the, on the golf course uh, in the practice round, just getting used to it. I mean, it is, for me, the thing I have the hardest time with is getting a consistent strike and hitting it exactly how I want. Uh, I feel like in America, I have a pretty good idea of how it's going to come out every time, or at least the ball sits very similar to where, you know, if I want it to run out, I can get it to run out. If I want it to spin a lot, I can get it to spin a lot. And, I think, at least for me, that's something I have the hardest time with over here is 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 judging how the ball is going to come out, especially if, it, if you get a little bit of moisture on the ground or on your ball, then you can't really get any spin and it kind of comes out high with no spin. Um, and then you're kind of using the contours a little bit more. So it's kind of like I was saying earlier, uh, I think it was Ian, that's it. Um, you really just kind of have to take the situation at hand and assess it when you get there kind of thing you know it's not like i'm using one technique all the time um you have a lot of weird stances a lot of weird lies especially you know whether it's in bunkers or fescue or whatever it might be so just trying to hit a lot of different shots over the course of today and the last two days just to uh try to make sure when i get in a certain situation that's uh something i'm comfortable in and quickly last but not least what's your best memory of playing over here a lot of great memories. Um, I unfortunately haven't really had any good results in, uh, in any tournaments. I played pretty well here a couple of years ago, but honestly, one of the most fun memories I had was two years ago when we came in for the Scottish, uh, myself, my dad, and Kevin Kisner, we went out to North Berwick and played, and that was, that was really fun. I mean, it, you don't often basically never would we be going to a golf tournament in the States and get in a day early and want to go play golf somewhere, you know, that's, but being over here, having the opportunity to play a course that obviously none of us would play unless we were here. Um, and we needed to stay awake. It was our first day. So we knew if we laid down on the couch, we were toast. And, uh, it was, it was really fun. We took some trolleys. We went out and, and we played 18 holes and, uh, we went in the pub, had a, had a couple of pints after and, uh, just really enjoyed the whole experience. Oh, it's a great place. I know mm -hmm. they loved you being there too. Thank you. Play well. Thanks. Thanks, Susan. Uh, before we wrap up, I just want to check that John and Ian's hands are for the earlier questions. Yeah, I think so. So uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Thanks, Justin, and uh, good luck this week. Thank you. Appreciate it.